You're looking at surveillance video from a West Valley home on Levy Road, captured Monday morning. You can see a couple walking down a sidewalk on 47th Drive as a black truck slowly approaches them. When the woman notices and turns around, the truck speeds up, running her over. We are not showing the moments they were hit. Her shoe landing in the middle of the street from the impact. The man with her goes to check on her, but seconds later, the truck returns and rams him through a brick wall. When the driver tries to back up, the tire struggles on the gravel, then pops off, but it doesn't stop the man from taking off. They left the tire behind. They went to that wall pretty good. Moments later, neighbors run to the victims. Here, you can see the man is injured, but is still moving his legs. Neighbors saying it could have been any one of them that day. I guess the question is why. Everybody was kind of wondering why, why a person would do that. According to court documents, Phoenix police tracked a skid trail from the truck to a nearby home where 49-year-old Refugio Varasa Torres was standing next to the truck with a missing front tire. Torres was arrested. According to the police report, he told officers he was having issues with his brain and the devil told him to kill three people. When asked if he killed three people, Torres said, I think so. I got my wife off of scared. She I don't want to go walking anymore. Police say the suspect's family told them he had been acting strange all week, saying he had been taking various medications purchased online. And we also checked in with police on how the victims are doing that. And the latest update is that they're both in the hospital with serious injuries. Now in studio, Casey Torres, Arizona's family.